everyone and welcome back to my channel please don't mind the mess over here that's an air purifier and an enclosure that i need to i need to clean this room so i'm sorry um but anyways i want to show you guys me feeding all my pets today and there's going to be some pets that aren't going to be included because like they are ovulating or just like don't eat on camera like just had a hard time getting them to eat that day i'll explain the reason why and list the pet as well as the species that they are down below in the description just so that there's clarity like it's not like i have any missing or dead pets or anything I'm not that kind of youtuber um so if they just weren't on camera it's just just because they didn't want to eat that day but i include them down below so now that's out of the way <laughs> another disclaimer is that um, there is no particular order that this is in. I'm actually going to include like uh, a list down below of like timestamps for each different species. So if you just want to see leopard geckos, I will include the time that starts. If you just want to see frogs, uh, like a chubby frog or a tomato frog, whatever, I will include times down below. So if you just want to skip around the video, that's your prerogative. And again, I'll just make sure that all the times are down below to make that nice and easy for you. Another thing I have to say is that this is not representative of a complete diet for my animals. You're only seeing them eat for one meal, so or some of them are actually two meals, but you're only getting to see them eat um, a very small section of what their actual diet looks like. So please don't see this and think, just because I fed my leopard geckos hornworms, that that's what they always eat, okay? And also, I, in order to make the video shorter, only showed them eating one hornworm. Some of them get two, some of them get one big one, it just depends. So keep that in mind as well. And with the final disclaimer, um, I have a lot of special needs leopard geckos. A lot of them are deformed, a lot of them have neurological disorders. So if they look different or behave differently to you, that is why. Also, one more disclaimer, the girls are ovulating. So a lot of their tails are getting thinner, their abdomens are bulging, they have eggs. It's the worst time of year the worst i hate it so much um but that's just why some geckos look different uh, or may behave differently and i will include on the screen with their name if they're ovulating or not or i'll include it in a voiceover so just so there's clarity with that as well now with all of that annoyingness out of the way but you got to be careful as a youtuber <laughs> with all that out of the way we can just go ahead and get started enjoy Hi everyone, I figured I'd start off with my wise tree frogs considering I just got them recently and I just posted a video about them which I will include as a link here on the screen so make sure you go and check it out. These are my African dwarf frogs and the way that I feed them is by putting a frozen cube of bloodworms in the water and it's actually a mini cube because there's only two of them and I thaw it out a bit with my fingers and kind of move it around in the water so it sinks and then I have to repeatedly tap on the glass where the food is to get the frogs to come to it. That's what works for me but um, yeah that's why my hand is tapping on the glass.
This is Shireen, and Shireen came to me as a retired breeder with severe Enigma syndrome, and is in fact why she doesn't have any color either, but you'll see that her tail is really skinny. Do not worry, her tail is always relatively thinner than what I'd like, but she's okay. I accidentally fed Elia off camera because I forgot to press start, so I just fed her a tiny one so you guys would see her eating still.
both Fugaku, my red-eyed crocodile skink, and Nymeria, my Chinese cave gecko, eat from bowls and do not eat in front of me. So I've just included their bowls and a little clip of them. This is the moment where tragedy struck and Harry bit my finger, which has absolutely never happened before. I've had Harry try to bite like the moles on my arm, but I've never had Harry actually grab onto my finger. So it was kind of fun that I caught that on camera. Now there's a very particular way that I have to feed Ronald, which is I have to drop it and it has to hit him at the exact right angle. So as you can see on the first one, I missed. He absolutely will not eat from my fingers, which would be much easier, but this is how he prefers it. So he got the second one and then I left the other one in there for him to eat later, which he did. And now I am making Pangea, which is very boring, so I sped it up for you. But I'm going to be feeding my Crested Geckos, Aaron's Crested Geckos, Aaron's Gargo Gecko, and our Lychee.
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing my pets as well as Aaron's eating their food or just me giving them their food because some of them don't eat on camera. If you enjoyed it, let me know down below with a comment, leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. I hope that this brought you some happiness during this really troubling time of um, coronavirus and quarantine and everything like that that can just be really stressful for people. So I hope it brought a smile to your face. Let me know down below who you enjoyed watching eat the most or if you have any questions and I'll get back to them. And with that, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, give your pets a little snuggle and just take a deep breath, okay?